Okay, we want to evaluate this definite integral using u substitution, and in that process, we're going to try to change our limits of integration. So, immediately, I take a look at this, and I notice that if I use 1 plus t to the eighth as u, then du will be some multiple of t to the seventh. So let's let u equal 1 plus t to the eighth power. And then du is equal to 8 t to the seventh power dt. Which is great because I'm looking for some multiple of t to the seventh dt for my du. And I see here I have t to the seventh dt. The only thing is that I have that 8 in front. So I'm going to make a change to that by simply dividing both sides by 8. So I get 1 eighth du is equal to t to the seventh power dt. So I started by noticing that this was a composite function, which I have um, Underline in the integrand above the 1 plus t to the 8th because we're being raised to the 7th power. I made my u substitution and I have my du. But I have to remember that these limits are for t and I need limits for u. So what I'm going to do is go to this first expression here. u is equal to 1 plus t to the 8th and I'm going to find my limits for u. So when t is equal to 0 u is equal to 1 plus 0 or 1. And when t is equal to the upper limit 1, u is equal to 1 plus 1 to the 8th power is 1, which is 2. So now I know that my integral, once I make my substitutions and I change my limits, <coughs> is going to look like the integral from 1 to 2, and then I have a 1 eighth, which comes from my du, so I've got 1 eighth, and then I'm going to have a du, and then u is 1 plus t to the eighth power, so that's going to be u to the seventh power. I tried to use some color so that you can kind of see the relationship between the two different pieces. So if I solve that definite integral, whatever I get for that solution will be the solution to my original problem. So let's take a look at that. I've got 1 eighth, the integral from 1 to 2 of u to the seventh power du. Okay, so this is using the power rule for integration, so that's going to be a 1 eighth times, that's going to be u to the eighth power over 8. That's going to be evaluated between 1 and 2. So I'm going to plug in here. And so that's going to give me 1 eighth times 2 to the eighth power divided by 8 minus 1 to the eighth power divided by 8. And so this should be equal to, once I simplify it, 1 over 8 times 8 is 64 times the quantity 2 to the 8th power minus 1.